This is fine. Welcome back to the Monster Matchup, the show where you get to know your foe from head to toe. Feels weird saying that after such a long time, but a good weird though. You may have noticed that the visual was a little different, uh, I could not find the old one. That's what I get for taking so long. You may also notice that I sound like I gargled nails. I am getting over a cold, but hey, that just makes this a perfect time to heat things up. When we last left off, we were in the midst of the Elder Dragon Jam, keeping it spicy with Teostra, the Red Emperor. Emperor. Now Mufasa's pretty great, but what if we dialed that up to 11? What if, what if we experienced this level of HE double hockey sticks on Blech? Well, viewer, then you would have Lunastra. This blue beauty is the true bringer of the heat. Notoriously so. Not gonna lie to you guys, this monster was actually a big hurdle for me way back when I fought her for the first time. So what prompted Luna to receive such a reputation of pain and agony? Exactly how much does this queen slay? Well, we're gonna find out in three, two, one. Begin! Lunastra is the counterpart to Teostra and is located in the Elder's Recess, Guiding Lands, and Wildspire Wastes. Now off the bat, you're gonna notice something when looking for her. You see, as mentioned before, Teostra is normally bullin' when you find him, and he doesn't really attack until provoked. But with Luna? Oh, oh no baby, it's on sight with Luna. Lunastra is really a test of thinking on your toes, and as a developing hunter it can be quite a hurdle. The amount of things at her disposal accumulates against you, to the point where you swore you had a health bar, but now your efforts are up in literal flames. Lunastra's fighting capabilities include, but are not limited to, given a little smackety smack, the old one-two tail whip, incinerate up close, incinerate from afar, incinerate all around, incinerate in a line with a bunch of blue, incinerate in the air, incinerate in the cone, <laughs> incineroar, and actual literal scorched earth twice. Blue Kitty Cat leaves out the Blast Blight seasoning that Teostra has, and instead gets very heavy-handed with straight-up fire. Oh yeah, she's bringing a special type of heat to the kitchen, you know? <laughs> okay. So that being said, Fire Blight is going to be the nemesis here. Imagine, Lava Region Tick Damage, plus Tick from Leftover Flames, plus Tick from Standing Near Her, plus Fire Blight Damage, and you're in a bad spot before you know it. Thankfully, all you gotta do to cure the element is stop, drop, and roll. But Gabe, oh my god, look at it, there's so much! Yep, uh, mm -hmm. yep, there, there definitely is. Depending on what you have equipped, the leftover flames from Lunastra will deal tick damage to you while fighting out there. Combine that with other sources, and you're gonna be in the red real bad if you're not careful. Astera Jerky will help in recovery, but hey, it's better to not even get to that point, right? Now, a lot of Lunastra's attacks also apply wind pressure. In tandem with her loud roars, these are a few things that can keep a hunter more or less stuck somewhere that's not so great. Now, a really annoying bit is that paintbrush of a tail she's got. Not only can she spread fire pools with it, but the hitbox on it is notorious. You could be at her side and still get caught with the tail end of that swipe. So you gotta be aware of which way she's going, which way she's facing to avoid the paintbrush, where the flame are around you, the answer is yes, all while not getting held in place from a roar, stun, or any wind pressure. That's a tall order, Cap. Mighty gay if I could do that. But don't worry, not all hope is lost, though. The amalgamation of suck can be mitigated with enough preparation and awareness. We could just ignore the uh, footage of me getting tossed around. It's, you know, it's just been a while, okay? Let's try our best to douse these flames by looking at Spice Girl's weaknesses. Here's a few things that'll help you. Fire Mantle, Cool Drink, Heat Guard Skill, Fire Mantle, Fire Casters for Emergency, Fire Mantle, Temporal Mantle, Fire Fire resistance in general. Fire man yeah, the fire mantle is going to be pretty helpful. Cool drink is your basic coverage. It's going to help you with environmental heat, the smoldering leftover pools of blue fire, maybe not the fresh ones, but the ones that have been lingering. It does not make you immune to fire blight though, so still be careful. And this can also be said about the heat guard skill, which nullifies the effects of heat. This can be picked up via charm, decoration, or even in some pieces of armor. And fire resistance is always going to come in clutch here. Okay, so Lunastra's Nova, the Nuclear Blast times 2, Double Decker, scary, depletes your health fast, has a redonkulous range, but there are a few caveats. For one, flash pods. When in a hunting party, one of the last things you probably want to see 
is somebody trying to flash pod Luna, because when they do that, she decides to go nuclear early. Not sure if this happens to everyone every time, but it definitely did for me. However, if you plan this out, you can use this as a window of opportunity. What I mean by this is you can deliberately trigger it and make sure you're far, far away so you can sharpen your weapon, heal up, and do whatever else you gotta do to jump right back into it without returning to camp. Just make sure to plan that out and be on the same page with others that are on the hunt. Whenever you're in the red, the Astera Jerky will always be a huge help in recovery, and the Farcaster is a good panic button if you're about to get dunked on. Also check this out, here she's trying to explode while I have crystal bursts on my slinger. Check it out. Nope. Nuh-uh. I don't think so. Uh oh, she's going for a fourth. I'm not ready, she's going for a fourth. Oh boy. If you're in a hunting party and multiple people have crystal bursts, you could potentially just keep her from igniting and maybe even get some hits in too. Now when you hit her with it, she might follow up with another attempt or she might not, so just be wary in general. Now she has put the hurt on many a hunter out there, but how do we give this harm assist a taste of her own medicine? Well, let's assess the proper anatomical administration by looking at the queen's weak points. Blunt weapon use rejoice you have permission to once again hit the head trauma galore three stars i love it breaking wings is best suited for the blades in this case and for all the ranged combatants out there shoot that but generally these weak points will be affected at least moderately by other kinds of damage so it's all fair game let's slide on over to the element weaknesses <laughs> Serious? So this heat is apparently a little bit too much for water. Pretty much just gonna evaporate before it even reaches her. And lightning probably ain't gonna cut it either. Your best bets are to either go full ice ice baby or use dragon damage. Not to mention lay elder seal can really help douse the flames of hope. That was for my uh, oath of conquest paladins out there. Ailment weaknesses. So these first three ailment ratings actually line up with her traits perfectly. Toxic behavior, sends hunters night night, and is likely their sleep paralysis demon as well. But yeah, one star for those. However, she is a bit susceptible to blast, and we got the green light here to go for the face because we have two stars in the stun department. The best way to beat Lunastra is by doing it. I know this pretty much sounds like an Aspen Tree moment, but it really is a test of getting familiar with the variety of things a monster can do, and the fact that they could turn on a dime to do something you wouldn't expect. Some will call it cheap, or BS, or misery, and they're all kinda right, but if you weren't planning and preparing your equipment like Batman before, you certainly will when facing the Blue Empress. Final verdict? Excuse me, he asked for no pickles. Next time? Uh, let's see, what do we got here? That one was a doozy, but maybe the next one will be better. Oh.